What's up you toys tired of catching tags? Today we're going to learn graffiti throw ups in Adobe Illustrator. So opening up Illustrator, let's go to File New. I'm going to name mine Throw Up, kind of like Vomit. For the width is 2000, for the height is 1000. And you can change your units to pixels here. And RGB is fine. Okay, so your artboard should look something like this. So let's go into view. We're going to pull some rulers. Go to view, rulers, and show rulers. So you should see these come up on the sides of your screen. And yeah, just from the top, we're going to pull some horizontal rulers like this. You can kind of change them around if you want to. Uh, but yeah, we're just going to keep it kind of like this for now. All right, and we're actually we're going to be using the pencil tool today. So going to the pencil tool here, you can hit N on your keyboard. Let's double click so we can see these options. And we want these settings. So for the fidelity, we want 2.5 pixels. For the smoothness, we're going to do 69, bro. And for the options, we want all of them deselected. So we don't want any of this. And once it looks like this, click OK. All right, now let's uh, let's take away this uh, fill here. We just want a black stroke. We don't want to fill. And yeah, opening up your stroke panel here. If you don't see it, you can go to Window Stroke. We're gonna change the weight to 10 pixels. We're gonna do the cap around cap, and the corner around corner or around join rather. So yeah, your settings should look like this. Let's do a little test run. Pretty good. That's that's pretty much what we're looking for. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. And yeah, um, a graffiti throw up. Um, just how you do the letters. They're kind of like bubble letters. Uh, they're just supposed to be really simple. Something you can do really fast. So uh, I like to build mine kind of in a clockwise fashion. So an A is a good letter to start with, actually. So for an A, we're just gonna start at about ten o'clock. We're going to round out kind of an oval shape, just try to go to the bottom, and then we're going to cut back in and do another kind of circle. So yeah, just something just like that. I actually like that a lot. Just going to draw um, just, a, just a line straight down for like the center of the A. That looks pretty good. We might change it a little bit later, but let's just keep the flow going. Um, I like, a, I like a capital B more than a lowercase b for a throw up just because it's more rounded. So again, starting at 10 o'clock, let's do a rounded shape until about 3 o'clock. And then we'll do another rounded shape just like that. I'm going to try it again. See if I can get something a bit smoother. Oh, that was way worse. One more time. Okay, all right, fourth time's a charm, maybe? Let's try it. There we go. Yeah, that's a, that's a nice looking B. And again, we're just going to draw two lines. Just like that. Yeah, that looks cool. All right, for a C, we're just going to do the same thing starting at 10 o'clock. Just going to build it off that B. Once we get to three, we're going to cut in. Then we're going to build another kind of oval shape at the bottom. That looks pretty nice to me. Now for a D. They're, they can be a little bit more difficult. I'm actually I'm going to go a sharp top. So just a straight line up to the guide. And then let's do a big rounded shape at the bottom. And we're actually going to act like the shape is continuing here. And we're just going to draw kind of another shape like that and then just a straight line up it's a pretty cool D looking pretty good alright let's do let's just do an E and an F and then we'll try to build a full word so I'm just gonna do a lowercase E it's a little bit simpler it's kinda of, kinda of similar to how we built the C but let's uh... let's do this line a little bit higher up so again starting at ten o'clock We'll go until about 2.30 and then kind of do like a sad frown 
type of shape. And then another circle. I'm going to fix some of this noise a bit later. So let's just do another line like that. And then the F we're going to build a little bit differently. We're just going to draw kind of a circle shape here in the center. Then we're going to draw kind of a smaller circle at the bottom. And then still starting at 10, we're just going to kind of meet up and do a circle there. That's a nice looking F. All right. So that's kind of like some basics of how you can build a few of the letters. Um, let's go in and kind of show how to edit some of these. So like we see kind of going above the guides here, this E is a little bit fat. The E is probably the biggest problem. So let's just use the selection tool and we're going to click on it. There's a lot of noise here. So let's kind of get rid of some of that. So going to the pen tool drop down, just click and hold. Let's go to delete anchor point. You can also just hit minus on your keyboard. And I'm going to delete that one. What happens if I delete you? And using the direct select, I'm going to bring this in. And also just still using the direct select. I'm just going to edit some of these anchor points. So they make a little bit more sense. Maybe we come in a little bit with these. Yeah, something like that. We'll do the same to the top. Just going to click and, and just only hold those two anchor points and just drag those down a little bit. Yeah, maybe exaggerate that a little bit more. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. Do the same with this F. Just going to click and drag some of this down. Maybe that one as well. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And for this D, we got an extra anchor point here. So yeah, good idea is definitely to minimize some of your anchor points. That way you get like really smooth curves and stuff. Some weirdness here. Just click and drag that up a little bit. I like that. For these. Yeah, kind of build it like that. And drag that up. Click and drag this one up a little bit too. Nice. For the B, I'm a little little tiny on the top. Just gonna direct select this anchor point. Just kind of hit the arrow keys until that's up to the top. Kind of like, or rather like that. All right, and this last A kind of went too crazy with it. Just gonna bring that up a little bit. Fix that little curve there. That's still hanging out just a bit. Nice. Maybe it's still a little fat. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the selection tool. Select the whole thing. And I'm just going to pull it all in a little bit. Yeah, I think that looks nice. So yeah, um, we're just going to use these letters. I, I kind of kind of like the flow of them right now. So I'm gonna, just going to delete my guides, highlight both of the guides to delete those. And yeah, let's work on making like a fill and a drop shadow out of these letters. So what I want to do is going to hold option. I'm going to click and just drag a copy down here just so I can kind of see what's going on. And now I'm going to go to the Pathfinder window. If you don't see it, you can go to Window, Pathfinder. And let's hit Unite. So yeah, this is kind of what we want to see. We've got some noise to fix here. So let's use the Direct Select. We're going to select this little section here. Delete those. Select the section here. Delete those. Delete that one. Actually, I kind of want all of this to go away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the pen tool. 
I'm just going to click in here. That was a little bit too high. Click kind of like this. And we're just going to surround all of this noise. And make that one shape. Then select everything again. And hit unite again. And that should get rid of it. So yeah, we want pretty much the outline of the letters because we're going to be making a fill color. So right now, it's a black stroke. Let's switch that to a fill. We'll change it to something like yellow. And now I want to arrange and send it to the back. I don't know. Okay, object, sorry. My brain, my brain lost itself for a second. So I want to go to Object, Arrange, and Send to Back. Okay, yeah, so it should look like this. And let's just align everything just so it's like a good-looking fill. Got some areas like here and here that I'm just going to fix. Gonna pull it like that. Same here, it's gonna delete some of these. Oops. Just so all of this uh, space is filled up. Yeah, same with this one. Delete these. Right, yeah, just like that. That looks pretty good. And now we want to make like a drop shadow. So what I want to do is I want to select this yellow section again. And we're going to turn it black. So it'll probably be in front of your letters. So again, just object, arrange, send to back. Now you have a drop shadow kind of like this that you can play around with, you know, make it really exaggerated if you want. You know, get, go really crazy with it. I'd just like to hang mine off just a bit. Yeah, something like that. I think that looks pretty good. And yeah, now if you want, we can uh, kind of do an outline over all of it. So, let's just highlight everything. We're going to click and drag a copy down so you should have just a perfect copy with all of it selected hit unite and you see it's kind of an outline of everything now so let's go to that stroke and yeah we'll hit yellow and now we just kinda wanna arrange it back let's send it to the back as well and I'm gonna beef up the weight just so you can see it a, a bit better yeah, we'll just crank it up to 40. We'll go we'll go really big with it. Yeah, just like that. Um yeah, you can kind of add some more stuff if you'd like just to kind of give it, you know, a little bit more you know, color, depth, you know, play around with it a little bit, but yeah, that's pretty much the end of the tutorial. Um again, you can like edit all the stroke points and play around as much as you want, play around with the letters themselves. Uh, if you're trying to, if you're just struggling on how to like create some letters and, and throw up letters, like just look up some alphabets, play around, look up other artists that are, you know, good at throw ups, um, you know, just see what kind of what you can come up with. But yeah, this is a, this is basically it. Um, yeah, it's a, you know, definitely a fun way to kind of build your, some custom letters. I mean, I think they look really awesome. They're really cool to do, you know, they're, they're, they're real hip hop. So, uh, yeah, hope you like this tutorial. I'm going to end it here. Just going to draw a couple of more just like kind of, uh, kind of basic shapes. Oops. Yeah, just to kind of play around. Uh, but, yeah, um, if you like this tutorial, uh, like and subscribe. Uh, leave a comment on other tutorials you might want to see. Um, and, yeah, go, uh, go out bombing. Hope you like this. Thanks for watching. Bye.